So Javante Tank Davis is scheduled to fight Lamont Roach March 1st at the Barclays Center in New York City. Javante Tank Davis in his first press conference at the Barclays Center said that he's going to get out of boxing and he's not into it. He's tired of the, sh uh, of the games and, you know, the the it's been looking, the promotion has been different than normally what it is. Normally it's like this big rollout, and but you haven't seen that recently. You've been hearing all these different rumors about what's going on with the PBC and... You know, things it's such things just aren't, aren't seeming right. Floyd's constantly fighting exhibitions when he's quote unquote a billionaire. You got a lot of fighters from PBC. Some are going to Matrim, some are fighting independent. And it seems like a lot of people say that the PBC is, is going under. Also, Al Heyman, there's rumors going out that ain't nobody heard from Al Heyman and so on and so forth, right? Well, now there's another report coming out that Javante Tank Davis owes the IRS over $3 million, along with the rumor that he never fully got paid for him fighting Ryan Garcia. Garcia. I'm just going to say this. I hope it's not true. I hope that all of this, these are rumors because if this is true, this is just another situation on where a boxers either spend all their money or get cheated out of their money with an advisor or a manager or the network, lawyers, accountants, because I don't understand how can he not be getting paid unless the PVC are claiming they paid him, but they didn't pay him on the front end, but they claim he, they paid him on the back end. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, we just speculating, but where there's smoke, there's fire. And I'm sorry. I was a fan of the PBC at one point. I remember when they had free TV or free fights on TV. Keith Thurman was fighting on show. I mean, CBS, Spike Lee Network, ESPN, CBS. Oh, I already said CBS, huh? TNT, you name it, that they was fighting on there. And then after a while, they just slowly drifted off. And then you, you try to make me fight, pay for pay $80 to watch Keith Thurman fight Tim Tazoo. No, we're not doing that. I'm not doing that. A lot of y'all not doing that. And and that, I don't know. I don't know. I, I just, I, uh, listen, it could just be a rumor, but I really hope that at least on Javante Tank Davis' side, he been, he's been smart with his money, making quote unquote good investments like Floyd always says. I really hope he ain't been out here buying Bentleys and flying private and all of that. And you're not taking care of business on the front end because you ain't gonna never make the kind of money you're making now outside the ring and let i mean unless you've been investing your money but if you've been buying bentley's and all of that it's hard to make 10 million dollars in a night five million dollars in a night 20 million dollars in a night so you know I just, I just like i said hopefully 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 this is not true but i just want to get my quick thoughts about it do y'all agree disagree let me know what y'all think